thank you for joining us on Straight Out of Savannah, talking with Tammy. This is my guest, Sharika Taylor. She is an amazing young lady doing awesome things in the planet. She's changing the planet, y'all. So Sharika, tell the people a little bit about who you are and what it is that you do. Hi, Miss Tammy. Uh, I am an eyelash extension technician and I, I, I love it. I have been doing it for about four years now. All right, let's talk about how you got into that because that is the story. Yes, my sister was tricking me. She was tricking me. She was telling me that she had been growing her eyelashes um, with this eyelash stuff. This is, it was called Latisse. She said, you can order it. I've been growing my eyelashes. But actually, she wanted to see how she was going to like the extensions before she brought them to me. And so she wore them for a couple of months, maybe about two or three months. And I decided I was off work. So I decided to go take a trip to visit her at her daycare center. I spent the day with her and her parent came in to pick up her child. And she says, well, Miss Candy, because that's my sister's name, Candy. She says, Miss Candy, you've missed uh, your last few appointments. Is everything okay? Now, it's only a few appointments you're going to get. You're going to get the hair appointment, the nail appointment, last appointment, doctor's appointment, one of, one of them. And she looks over at me. She said, okay, you caught me. You caught me. I've been getting lash extensions. And I said, oh, my God. And I looked at the lady. I said, she's been tricking me, telling me her eyelashes has been growing. The lady fell out laughing. I said, so tell me, how much does a set of these things cost? She said, oh, roughly 150 I said, oh, that's why she ain't really telling me. Because at this time, I am stingy. I'm working at Bill's Dollar Store. I'm limiting myself because I'm actually saying, oh, Honey, I'm a poor minimum wage black woman, which I should not have been saying that. Putting exactly. myself in a box and yes. labeling myself. I didn't realize that words were so powerful. Yes. And so I have definitely, I have been studying that and I know that they really are powerful. Yes. So I stopped saying that and I told her, I said, well, I'm going to come see you when I get my income tax. She, she fell out laughing. She said, well, I'll tell you what. Um, if uh, your sister has been coming to me for a while and I will let you, I will let you come in for. $90. And I say, okay, I'm going to think about that. I'm going to sleep on it and I'm going to get back with you. I want these because I'm the type of something I want. Yes. So I couldn't sleep. I said, let me, let me go try this because I actually love it on my sister. I started, I went to try it and I fell in love. I was traveling to Decatur twice a month going to get my feelings and dedicated to this and I and it made it brought out my appearance I loved my eyes I loved the way it made me feel and I said I need to bring this to I love people and I get to choose the people that I get to deal with because yes. if they book you know hopefully I'll attract all positive energy and if not I'll I'll shed some light and I know how to maneuver with all the, with all energies Yes. And I brought, and that's what I done. And I love it. I fell in love with it, found my passion. And passion. I've started an academy. Um, so Tia talk James to us about from, that. Yes. The academy. Tia because James. that is already like so amazing that you found your passion and then you decided you needed to teach it. Well, people have been wanting me to teach it. Um, earlier maybe like two years ago but I wasn't confident enough mm -hmm. to start teaching it yet and I met an angel in human form 
platform, Tia, Tia James, the one who, and she's the branding and marketing lady of three, uh, Liquid 3-6. And she pushes, she pushes me and all of her clients to their limit. And she says, Sharika, do you not realize that these people love when you teach them? You, you, you can show that you actually love what you're doing. She said, we're starting your Lash Academy. And here we go. We're on the road four years. And now I'm doing a Lash Academy. And I love it. That and I love so my cool. students. They, they, they love, I love my students. And they come out where it took me over a year to kind of get my technique down. It's taking them like, they're like this. So it makes me smile inside and out to know that I actually can teach them correctly enough for them to want to get out and put in the work and fall in love with it themselves yes that is oh my god that is so amazing because I mean who would even think that you know you start doing lashes and you find a thing that just brings you so much joy you know, I, and that's, I never knew. that's the thing it's like when I look at people and I see the things that they're doing to me, that is what changes the planet because you're it doing does. something that you love, you know, something that you're passionate about and something that you want to teach. I mean, that is like it is over the, over the moon to me. <laughs> it makes me feel proud. I am definitely proud about it. Yes. So now I think everyone me, should do stuff they love. I was going to say, tell me what that shift was like for you, though. When you shifted from working at Bill's Dollar Store, and then you shifted into, um, you know, moving to do lashes. So did you did you go take a course for that, or how did you do it? I actually, I told the lady, um, my teacher name was Miss Nicole, Nikki Nicole. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told her, I said, I'm going to have to take this class. She said, Well, Sharika. I would love to teach it to you. And within, mm, I want to say about three months of me getting mine done, I was paying her for the class. Um, her class was $1,000 and I paid it. Wow. And I got every bit of my $1,000 back and more. And I am def I, I am happy that I just took the step to believe in myself enough to do something um creative or yes, yes. building building a trade within I love it and I want to I want to get into just more things that I do that I love to do that that revolves around the eyelashes and different things yes that is that's that's awesome um I know a girl that does um, brows. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to get into brows, but remember me telling you, I have not ever done any makeup or anything. Um, I know how to arch the brows with the razors, so I can do that. But far as the feel, the eye filler and all of that, I haven't perfected that yet, and I. I I don't know if that's going to be my neck or not because I don't I don't put the love in it as as I do with these lashes yeah. so whatever I I do get into I want to be you know just comes natural because I never was a morning person but now I will get up if you call me and say or you schedule me I'm up I might be just a tiny bit slow but when I <laughs> when I get together <laughs> I'm there. Yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. So did you, so do you have like a shop that you do it in or do you do it? Uh, what are you doing? Yes, ma'am. So me and the, the shop that I actually, uh, she's going to cosmetology. We've been best friends since sixth grade. Oh. And, you know, uh, she, we kept in touch. We've always kept in touch, but you know, they say people don't call me until they need me. Well, that's when 
you supposed to call somebody when you need them yes. and we keep it we reach out but I want you to call me when you need me when you need me to be able to be there for you if it's something that I can do please call me when you need me um yes. so she called me she had um she said I'm graduating from school she had broke her uh, leg she had a car wreck and she noticed that I had took classes for eyelashes she called me she said Sharika I want to open up um a elegant salon in Roanoke nobody has it I want it to be nice um she say but I feel the only person that I could probably make what I need happen is with you do you think we could step out on faith and make this happen That's awesome. and I said we sure can if you want to make it happen, we're going to make it happen. We've been in business in, at 23 or 24. So the name of our salon is TRD, which stands for Team Riverdale. Um, Cause that's so everything that she does, she, she has it in memory of Team Riverdale. So I am in that salon, have a suite and that's where I actually do the Lash Academy as well. Oh, that is so we've awesome. been in business four years. That's awesome. They tried to shut us down. They tried to shut us down. They With called the state board. They did everything. State board said, why are y'all missing to close it? Because they didn't want, they could not see people in a small town trying to do something better with themselves so it took we don't know who called it's anonymous but they made a lot of calls and state board said why are y'all messing with these ladies and yeah well y'all leave these ladies alone and quit calling us oh that is so awesome the lady california full of bookers some girls will not do anything over there who was basically just trying to build up our community yeah and we still are. Yeah. And see, God wouldn't allow that. You know, that's no. the thing. It's like God no, is you not. Uh-uh. No. Because if you're trying to build a community, then you're doing something, you know, really in his name. Because that's what God wants us to do is build a community. Love. You know, love. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And that's the thing. Pure love. And I'm, I'm just super excited about this because just listening to you talk about you know, that passion that you have for doing the lashes and even the last university, girl, you are on fire. (laughs) Thank you, Miss Tammy. (laughs) It's a pleasure to be on your podcast because you do amazing podcasts. I love, I love your title. I love all of your shows. I've been paying attention to since I have booked with you like I said Tia James she pays attention to your podcast all the time and it she said go check her out I would love to do you a set of eyelashes I would come to you look I would love to have them too (laughs) yeah and it will be a gift Uh, it's a gift a gift from me so when I come come that side of the world I definitely look you up you come on and don't you take forever because those <laughs> eyes are pretty i'm ready to make you fall in love i was gonna say you know it you know i don't know if you know but i'm in washington state now really <laughs> oh god it's you gonna... thought i was in savannah right well i didn't assume <laughs> i didn't assume i learned not to assume because you are a very talented and gifted person and i'm sure that people want you all over the world so I didn't want to assume. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're but no, welcome. I, I um I did. God gave me that title straight out of Savannah because that's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. And um, God gave me that title and said, "This is what you what you do." And so I did. Can't go wrong with that. He I actually haven't gave even me my lived title. in Savannah I love since reading. I had the title. <laughs> Growth. Growth. Yes. yes. You grew Absolutely. quickly. Absolutely, and it was too, right? Yes. You poured water into that flower and you let it bloom. Yes. And you know, that is what you do is to me, it's almost like people want to know what a secret sauce is. You know, what, what's your secret? But it ain't no secret. Love yourself. 
Yes, you love yourself and you you take some time to sit down and see where you are. And then you the take some time out. to decide where you're going. You know, exactly. You're right about that. It's like, as soon as you decide, you say, okay. Because I like when you said that when you saw the lashes and when you made that decision that you were going to do it, then all the, everything just lined up for you. It the did. opportunity to have them done, the opportunity to have someone teach you how to do it, all that stuff lined up for you. And that to me is, it's fire. You it know, is. because it's like, people are so running around here trying to find, you know, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I do that? You know, without taking the steps to actually do the thing. Correct. You, know? you, and, you can have a, a dream. You can dream all day. Yes. Until you write it down, it becomes a plan. Until you execute it, 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 it becomes a goal and a plan in execution. You execute it out. Yes. I learned to write it down and make it happen. Yes. Yes. I was going to say, how did you get that positivity? Because you are amazing. I mean, just thank you. Yeah. I I think it's, I've always kind of been this way, but once I start learning to put more love into me and because we're always trying to show love to everybody else, look for love, search for love why can't you just put that into yourself and the rest yes. will follow? If you yes. put the love into yourself as though you want somebody else to love you, it'll come. Yes. I learned that. That is so real. Because you will definitely teach somebody. You you lead by example. So how you treat yourself is how people will view you and treat you. Yes. I absolutely agree with that. And that is, to me, it was something that, um, I had to learn over the years. I learned. I did. And I had to learn. I learned. Yes. Especially I had in to the learn. areas of uh, love and romance. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you treat yourself kind. I had somebody laugh and I said, I treat myself good. I said, so that when I met the man, he knew that he had to come step in and he had to come <laughs> treating me good. Correct. You got to come you correct. Know, because I'm, I'm not, I'm, I treat myself good. You know, I know how to take care of me. So show me that you can do what I do exactly. plus, right. and we can be happy. I'll show you the love. I'll show you the love in which you need, and you can do the same. Yes. And that's absolutely. where it becomes, that's where it becomes a partnership. Yes, absolutely. I agree completely. And it's, it's amazing because what I see is so many women, especially young women, they, it's like they dumb down, you know, they, they just you know, they, they, they give so much and they don't Brain know how washed. to learn how to receive. The society, society will brainwash you. Yes, absolutely. And then, and then until the you, is, you step out of that love. box, mm-hmm. yes, yes. you got to step out of that box and learn for yourself. Yes. And you because just, if you notice, we all are given a social security number, yes. a birthday yes. and two parents and a religion. Yes. You, pick, you take your whole life trying to, to live up to that, that expectation when you actually just need to learn from within and grow to the person that you need to become. Yes, yes. I tell people all the time, I said, you have to connect here. You know, you do. connect with your heart and then connect with your own spiritual team. You do. Because you know, I, I, anyway, that's a whole nother. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just going to say a whole nother <laughs> subject. But we're... A whole nother show. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that you found it in yourself and in your heart to just, you know, create your own reality, because that's what it looks like to me. Like you created your own reality. You say, you know what? This was good over here. But I think what I need to do is over here, you know, and that, that to me is fire because you see so many people dying with so many great opportunities that they could have had or that they should have did, you know, but they, but they were too scared, too afraid, you know, didn't want to move or they had a dream. Just like you said, they had a dream, but they didn't want to act on it. You know, Fear, fear will keep down. you from doing a lot of stuff. Yes. Fear. 
that's the that's the number one sickness fear yes if i get you scared of a bunch of stuff you're gonna get sick you're gonna be worried you're gonna be shocked you're gonna be depressed but if i uplift you and you do you get up every morning and you say positive things and you speak positive in your life because words are spellings 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 are spells so you have to be very careful what you speak and how you speak of yourself that's why i took myself out of that box because i was labeling myself as i was working at bill's dollar store and my sister said are you gonna just stay comfortable are you gonna just stay comfortable you need to get out of your comfort zone and those words and her tricking me got me got the ball rolling see and, and that's the other thing spirit knows what you need you know because suppose she hadn't done that then you might have still been at Bill's Dollar Store and not been an entrepreneur and, you know, creator of your own university. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like it would have blocked you and limited you from everything that was yes. your destiny. And that is... I'm so grateful. Yes. I'm so powerful. grateful. Yes. 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 I love working for myself and setting my schedule. I'll get up early for the clients and I'll work late for them too. But that's I try to be flexible. It. Cause I love it. It's it's not like I'm at work. I'm in my own zone. I have ambience. I have my music playing, and I'm just in love and at peace. I find peace in doing lashes, and I'm and my clients. I want to make sure they fall in love with themselves over again and realize what they've been missing. Cause once they get up out my chair, they're saying, "I am in love." Re, yeah, because what lashes- did you do to me? People don't even need eye makeup when you have lashes on. We take away the mascara. We take away all that stuff, baby. We just bringing out your natural beauty. Right, exactly. I know I, I had lashes when I got married. And it you was, need these weeks. It you was need amazing. these weeks. Yes. <laughs> it was amazing. I enjoyed them. You know, yeah. I, I had the strips, though. I did. I had the strips. Nah, with the we're on taking, it. I'm not going to discriminate against the strips or the people who wear them. I'm well, not, they were good for the day, you know. They were good for, they are good for temporary time. But if you want these to stay on, permanent look, you need extensions. This way, they look like they grew out of your eyes. Well, mine do. I can't speak for everybody else, but it's a beautiful work and beautiful technicians out here too. They, I look up to all lash technicians because I feel like we are in art together. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. Because the thing is, is it's another thing that just helps you feel beautiful. It does. And I'm I'm like every blink. Yes. You just, just, it just helps you feel beautiful. You know, because I remember when I had them even for just that day. And they, of course, honey, you was talking with your eyes, wasn't you? You was talking with those eyes. (laughs) Oh my God. My husband looked at me, he said, Oh, baby, you're beautiful anyway. (laughs) <laughs> but I am about to fall head over heels a third time. Right? <laughs> That's so amazing. So what are your plans for the future? What, what, what is going on in five years with, with uh, your lashes? I want to be able to have my, I am going to be, I am going to have my academy flourishing and nourishing. Maybe we will take these academies and place them in a couple of cities, maybe. And um, I want to touch a few celebrities. I want to do a few celebrities, but at the same time, I still want my main clients that I already had. I don't want to just, I don't want to move out, out where I don't have my, my regular clients anymore. I want to be able to touch them plus yeah. So I want my workload to be heavy, but within love. Do you uh, not overwhelming? Mm-hmm. Do you show love to the the um, alternative communities? All, all. I do all nationalities. No discrimination here. I love all beautiful people. I yeah. think everybody are beautiful in their own way. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, I have done. I even done one person in the LT. Uh, I have done them. Mm-hmm. 
I do not discriminate. If you want them, baby, I'm going to make those eyes talk. I was going to say that is so good because, you know, they have so much discrimination with them. And I, I'm, I'm the same. I've interviewed. I'm some not discriminating. I love them. And then I interviewed yeah, some I didn't even know they was in that community. <laughs> I mean, whatever you are into, that is you, honey. Whatever makes you happy. I feel like whatever makes you happy, you need to be secure with whatever you're doing. Absolutely. And I'm I secure totally with it with you. Yes, I totally agree. I totally agree. Mm. All right. That is like so much fire girl because that is it just makes me feel good when I see people that are like living their dreams in their passion because it's so yes, much ma'am. out here now and and you know because what I work with is really helping people to live because I see so many people dying in my age group and it, it just sad. I can't do it. it's sad and, and I mm-hmm. and I I didn't know why, because I've been actually studying it, you know, and it's like, it's not money. It ain't even money. You think it would be money, but it's not money. You know, people are stressed out, you know, and it's it's like, because my thing is when you see people dying with money at 55, 53, 52, 50, it's not the money wrong with that. It ain't the money. They're not happy. I mean? so, exactly. They're stressed out. You can have all the money in the world. And now that they say money can't buy you happiness, it can buy you things that you're happy with. Yes. But you're not going to be happy because you have those things. You have to be happy within yourself already. Yes. You have to learn to be happy within yourself. I am happy just to smell the air, to be able to just breathe in and out is a blessing to me. (laughs) When I see the way the trees grow, and the oxygen that the, that the trees are helping produce. I'm happy. Yep. I'm happy with just that. So everything else is a plus. That is exactly right. I truly believe that. It's like, you know, I tell people, I said, I'm happy to be topside. You know, because you mm-hmm. could be taking a dirt nap. <laughs> I'm telling you real fast. <laughs> real fast. You know, we never know. You never know, especially these days, you know, but it's, it's just refreshing though, just to see, you know, how you just walk in that thing. And, and I know that you're a blessing to your, your clients, you know, because to me, it seemed like they would be trying to run back to you. (laughs) They say, Sharika, listen here, I am ready for my lash nap. Um, I had a client, I asked her, baby, why are you here? So regular, your lashes are not messed up. She said, I just want some freak time. Just oh. let me lay here and let you pamper on me and steal some of your energy. I said, well, just get it, baby. Just, just, just suck it all up. Don't drain me dry, but just get it, just suck it all up. Look, I thought about being a life coach. People, people, they 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 count on me for a lot of stuff. I was gonna I say don't. you can. You probably really I, already are. <laughs> Yes. To people I don't even know. I don't mind doing it. I'm going to tell you what I know. And that's all I can do. I was going to say, you really don't. I mean, people want to push all these schools and all that stuff. But to be honest, you don't need all that. I, I did mine on Udemy. Really? Yeah, it was. Um, I think it was nine ninety nine. <laughs> cool. Life coaching? Yeah. There's like a million on there. You know what? <laughs> that may be my next step. You wanted to know what I'll be doing. I'm going to call you back and say, Miss Tammy, I'm in the field, baby. I'm, I'm here. telling you, it's, it's not far out from what you probably already do. Because anytime you're working that closely with people, they tell you all this stuff, just like hairdressers, estheticians, you know, massage therapists. They tell you all they stuff, they business. And but the thing is, People have been doing this before I even got in eyelash business. Exactly. They have. And I say, you have that spirit. Well, thank you. I guess I grab, I do. I grab a lot of energies. You do. And the thing is, is people need that anyway. They need that. I don't mind. People are suffering. They're struggling. You know what? Let me turn this light off. Right. Okay, that's a little bit better. You just brought out more of your beauty, Miss Tammy. Girl, it's starting to get dark. 
you was hiding that beauty and you just brought it on out. You brought it to the light. <laughs> yeah, it was starting to get dark. I usually try to use the um, the natural light because I love the, the sunlight. Yes. Stuff. And it's not all that much sun here all the time, but today it was pretty, it was a pretty day. But yeah, so I, I try to use that. But then once it starts getting dark, I think it's probably the time's going to change soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should be Well, I heard, I'm not, not 100% sure that they were trying to keep the time set instead of setting it back. I don't know They're why trying. they do it anyway. They don't want to keep swapping it around. They want to leave it. Well, that stuff think, was from, that was from like the times when they planted and stuff like that. That's what the that time change stuff came from. So people ain't really doing that and they ain't going by that. Once you get set on a time and then you got to regroup yourself back to another time, you got to unwind back with the time. See, we I think it kind of throws people off. We lived in Arizona for seven years. So okay. Arizona doesn't change times. Oh, they don't? No. So everybody else changes around Arizona, but they don't change. And 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 it still stays. Does it? Does the darkness and the lightness, like how when the time changes, does does that still change over? Or yeah, yeah, it still gets darker earlier and lighter later, or whatever the thing goes. Yeah, it still. But the time happen. just stays. But the, the time same. does not. Mm-mm. So like they, would, think- everybody else would would change around them. You know, but like now we're in Washington, so they change. Mm-hmm. on the pacific but Arizona okay had their own time they don't change that's neat i i don't see nothing wrong with them keeping it this time actually i couldn't understand why they did that in the first place to me it was just really stupid <laughs> yeah it is you know? i was like who even thought of that what what sense does that even make especially now? i don't know where it comes from it's like i, I don't know it's like i think they got a, another hour of uh work out of the people i think you know I think they that's probably, probably what it is. Slavery. Yeah. So they could get another hour been, of work. They done found a few ways to keep us. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that here. Okay, Mm-mm. so what we're gonna do now is what is one last thing you want to say and then um share with the people how they can find you, how they can connect with you. Well, I first I have enjoyed this podcast it has been an amazing experience so i was nervous at first but <laughs> just meeting good. you and talking to you was a breeze it was a blessing i enjoyed it and they can everybody can find me on i love reeks on instagram facebook uh on facebook it's i love reeks mink lash extensions it's the whole setup but on all the, the rest of my social platforms. It's just I love Reek. Even on Snapchat, TikTok. Uh, I'm on Pinterest now. Nice. Um, YouTube, I love Reeks. Nice. I would love subscribers and followers. And I'm nice. I'm gonna do my best to keep them together with these videos. I try to stay so busy within you know the academy and lashing that I kind of slip on doing a little recording but I'm going to do better you know what it, it's it's a it's a uh it's a journey it is and it's a marathon it's not a sprint you you better tell me that again it's a marathon it's not a sprint you are not doing this overnight so you just take your time you just have to push yourself once you even that what you have to do is get in the flow because Get in the you know flow. what happens is we we try to push, 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 push. And a lot of life coaches really like to do that. They want to just push, push, push. But what I find is that you have to help people to get into the flow. You know, it really step more in the divine feminine and not the divine masculine or to balance mm-hmm. them out. Because you balance need a little out. push, but you don't need all push. Yin and yang. You need to get to a place where you are like stepping into the flow and things just start flowing for you. Kind of like you did with, with your last thing. And that's you exactly how things are going. Things started flowing. Yes, that's how things are going. But where I push myself at is in procrastination. Oh, yeah. I we can do that. I, yeah, I'm, I'm real big at procrastination. And 
and I'm getting better at timing. Like since I've worked in this field, I have to get better at timing and I've done better. I've done a lot better. So a lot of my clients, they already know. They're like, Sharika, maybe just, and I, again, I'm going to do better with it. <laughs> that's right. You're going to do better. And that's, that's mm-hmm. all we're going to say. All right. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for joining us on Straight Out of Savannah, talking with Tammy, with my guest, Sharika Taylor. She has been an amazing guest. I absolutely love everything that she is doing. And I would suggest that, especially if you are in the area, make sure that you contact her and hook her up and look look at her on her social media sites. All of those things will be in the description of the video or the audio, wherever you watch or hear this. So you'll be able to see and be able to click on her links and all that stuff. So make sure that you're following her because she is a young lady that is going places and you'll want yes, to know her. And if you are out here and you're wanting to get into show business or do anything like that, and if you're somewhere where you can get to her close, you might want to look her up and let her do your lashes so you can be ready to go. You know, if you, if you're, you wanting to do Tyler Perry stuff, or you're wanting to do Lionsgate stuff, or you want to do something with Oprah or whoever. You know, look her up and let her hook up yep. your lashes. All right. Yes. So thank y'all for joining us. Um, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you, Miss Tammy. Bye.